Hi everyone. Today I just want to show a quick example on how we can use third-party JavaScript libraries inside of our builder pages and components. So let's jump in. I'm going to start by using a cool library called chart.js. So if we go over to GitHub's page for chart.js, we can see they have this wonderful library for rendering any type of data in line charts, pie charts, etc. That's great, and say we want to make a builder component or a builder page using this, we can do that pretty easily using a couple steps that'll show you. So let's go into the introduction and find a couple things. Um, first, to install, it looks like this is an NPM package called chart.js. So that's important because that's what we need to, to um, have to be able to import this into our code. And then I'll look at, I think they have like a getting started. Here we go. And then here's an example of taking an element and rendering a chart into it. So we can use this information and go back to Builder and let me show you how this would be done. So we can use system.js to import any Node.js um, or browser package that's an NPM right here in Builder. Um, so we can start by doing system.import and now that package name is chart.js. So we provide something for you which is um, an API that allows you to take any NPM package and we'll host it for you as a system.js module. It's a little bit of extra compilation that needs to be done to enable that. So we're just going to type https cdn.builder.io slash system.js slash the package name. And this is a promise, so then we can go dot thin and we have the data for that module. Um, some modules might export multiple things, some might export one thing. If it's only one thing exported, in the case of chart.js, it's just this class. We need to get that as data.default. So let's say const chart equals data.default. Cool. And also, if you're super duper fancy, I'm going to show you a cool trick. We can use async await here too, which is we can replace this with a main function. This is only because async await can't be done top level, has to be in a function. So I'm going to write this async function main. I'm going to say call this function immediately and paste my same code. But in this case, we can go const data equals await system.import. Uh, this is a lot friendlier if you're importing multiple things. You can actually use promise.all to import it in parallel. I'll skip some of these nitty gritty bits and we'll just do the easy stuff. So again, const chart equals data.default. And then let's look at that example. So cool, they've got this canvas element and they're gonna make a new chart off of it. So let's copy this. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm actually gonna change var chart to state.chart equals because maybe later we're gonna wanna use that reference for other things. Anything you put on the state object that's provided you here can be used within data bindings and you know click and other event interactions and context. So for context, it wants a canvas element. So in this case, let's actually create one. Let's actually go into our page here. Uh, again, this could be a component or whatever you want. I'm just gonna add a box and I'm gonna go to the style tab and go down and give this a class. I can't really see because my head's in the way. And we call this chart. Cool. So if we go back to our code example, we can create this, we can create a canvas element and then insert it in here. So if you want to get the element that contains your whole page or component, that's just L equals ref dot element. Ref is the reference to the um, components. It's got a whole bunch of things on it, element being one. And let's create that canvas element. Const canvas equals document dot create element canvas. And let's um, insert that as well. We can go ref dot create selector chart sorry l dot create selector chart dot append child canvas so now we're just going to stick that canvas element into that chart box that we created and we gave it the class charts and then for our reference it'll be the canvas here and oh now we can see something came in there ta-da we've got a chart now i'm going to change this to have no specific height and there we go, we've got a beautiful chart. So to summarize, it's pretty straightforward. This was just simple boilerplate code to create the chart. The important part you need is just, you need to know the NPM package name, use system.import, and then cdn.builder.io slash system.js slash that package name. 
and then either if you have multiple exports there will be just data dot export you know one whatever the name is etc or if there's just one export it'll be on data dot default this is a ECMAScript module thing and yeah there you go if you have any questions please feel free to contact me um, over at help at builder.io and thanks for watching